Hello everyone, this is Sean Ninus, owner of Dallas Finish Toys. This is DVT episode one, talking toys while getting coffee. And this is Scott Tucker. We are going to be talking about the 1986 Hasbro G.I. Joe Cobra Night Raven that originally retailed for $24.99. So, uh, obviously I have my coffee, uh, for, 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 first of all, Scott, I was born in 1980. I got this toy f for Christmas. It was a big and, one. And, and you were born? Uh, 83, so... So when did you first get this? Well, the Cobra Night Raven, um, as everybody, all Joe collectors know, G.I. Joe stuff always came with a catalog, right? And so as... My mom and dad bought me different G.I. Joe toys. I, of course, I would take the catalog. I think the original catalog is actually in this one, with this one, comes with this one. And boy, I do I remember catalog. those catalogs, because I would always get the catalogs, and it was stuff that I could not order with my flag points, and I would always be like, man, I wish I, I wish I could have had that, but it already expired at that point in time. Yeah, so this is the 1986 G.I. Joe catalog. You can see this Cobra Night Raven we have. And Let's stuck. just leave the uh, decals stuck to it. So that's yeah. what happens. Decals unapplied and they're stuck to it. So here it was in the catalog, right? So one of my first days of kindergarten, I make friends with this kid named David, and he was English. And uh, super cool. He had a couple older brothers. I remember one of his brother's names was Alex. So I, I, it was like my second or third week of kindergarten. I go over to David's house and I actually see the Night Raven in person. And I mean, to a five-year-old, six-year-old, this thing was like... This was, was huge because I remember that. And I mean, it was kind of almost too big because you would be flying around with it. And, and then you had to make sure that the little drone vehicle right here didn't fly off. Yeah, the drone, obviously the drone vehicle come, came with it, but uh, David and his mom, uh, I feel like they had just moved over from England, and so he had some of, like, the UK releases and stuff, and some nice. of were different colors, but I went home that day and told my parents I have to have the Cobra Night Raven for Christmas, and my dad obviously loved toys a lot, too, so... Um, this was like in, I was five or six. That was, this was like Christmas of 88. So these were actually kind of hard to find at that time. It had already been discontinued. Um, but if you looked hard enough, you could still find them. So I remember my parents were at work and, uh, the lady that watched me pretty much let me do whatever I want around the house. And I snuck into my parents' closet while they were at work. This is like probably five days before Christmas. Oh, Scotty. And I saw it in my dad's closet, and it was there. And yeah, I bet your eyes just lit oh, up. I freaked out. I mean, I really, I freaked out. I thought, and I still believed in Santa at the time, right? I believed in Santa. So, Scott, uh, Santa can still give you this. Well, what happened was I was like, oh, my God, Santa delivered it early. I must have been really good this year. And so on Christmas Day, I got this, and it was absolutely it was amazing. And I still have it. I mean, I never thought when I was six years old that, you know, years, decades later, I would still not only have my original one. I, I, I think I've probably changed a few parts out on it. The shell may even be different. But in my personal collection, I have this. And this is just one of my favorite toys of all time. Great Christmas memories. Um, this is the part that always gets lost. Comes with Strato Viper. It's an uncut file card? It is. So one thing I did notice, so that's the little gun piece that always falls off. That's about 25 bucks right there. Yep. So can you flip this over to show the underbelly? So on this so, one, the coloring's pretty good on this So one. they had two versions. See, this is a single strip, and the second version has like a locking L-shape pattern almost. Yeah, so the L-shape one was from 87. This is a true original from 1986. God, it feels great to take my mask off. This is the first time I'm taking it off, taking it off all day. But um, You want to show the back of the box? Yeah, so with the G.I. Joe stuff, I mean, the artwork has always been awesome. I've always loved the paintings. I'm a painter myself, so I kind of collect the box art when I can. 
And then here's here's the back of it. Tilted a little bit my way. So there you go. I had a little bit you of a You notice glare. some of the details. Like, this was a prototype model. You can tell by the wheel. The wheel's a little different than the actual one. And uh, you can see there the wheel's different. And also the glass on the cockpit. This is actually clear. If you look close, this glass is uh, clear. I don't know if that one is, but that one for sure is. It's barely tinted. Um, one other thing I kind of wanted to show was... Where is it? Oh, right here. So, everybody loves Storm Shadow, right? They would. This cockpit was such a pain in the butt oh, for yeah. me. I think it still is. Mine broke as a kid. I broke Even this Even the off. Sky Raven. It's like you slide it in, and then I think I had more fun with the drone jet, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I like the drone jet. Just because it was jet. a little bit easier for a, you know, six-year-old to run around with instead of this uh, Mine went in the atrocity. pool. I, I put it in my kiddie pool. I made it an underwater vehicle as well. But So you're hanging out with Deep Six and the shark. Oh, man, I had it all. I had the cobra bug I put in the pool. I you had, had the, the cobra bug? I had the bug. I had the hammerhead. That, that was, was Will flag. over on Castelloma that had the cobra bug for me. You had the flag? I had two of them. I don't think my parents <laughs> loved me. <laughs> what I was going to say about Storm Shadow, they always put Storm Shadow in just about every advertisement. because. So he came out in 84. There's yeah. an 85. Was there an 86 version? I mean, I think it's... Or do you think he game. still could have been... Well, the cards are different. You have the Peach and then the Gray File card. Yeah, it's pretty much the same version, but supposedly for people that were collecting in 86, I mean, I was just a kid. I was a toddler, pretty much. But most people that collected uh, collected that are customers here in 86 say that it was really hard to find a Storm Shadow in 86. So just in case you personally have a graded Storm Shadow and you're looking to sell, I... I'm looking to buy one, personally. Oh, is this your own plug? This is my own plug. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I bought a, uh, I, from Dallas Vintage. Talking Toys just got real. <laughs> yeah, it just got real. Uh, from Dallas Vintage Toys, I got a, uh, the Snake Eyes, the 85 Snake Eyes graded. And, I, you know, I, he, needs his, he needs his friend. He needs his friend, so. Uh, but anyways, back to the Night Raven. Now, this was a, this was a, uh, Obviously, uh, one of my favorite pieces from the line. I mean, I match it, you know. Here I am, 30 years later, everything I wear is black. My coffee mug's black. My watch is black. Everything's black. My car is black. Everything's black. My new guitar is black. And your uh, and real sister. plane in real life is a... <laughs> my what? <laughs> your plane in real life is a <laughs> Night Raven. <laughs> All right, I don't really have a plane, but... Uh, <laughs> But no, it's just a really cool piece, and I think that um, I've never heard a, a G.I. Joe collector not like the Cobra Night Raven. So, And what, was it 1990 Sky Patrol? Mm -hmm. Actually, we just got uh, a Sky Patrol Raven in. Um, we're waiting for a few parts to complete it. Three missiles. I got a funny story about that one, too. If we have, if we have time, do we have time? It's a oh. fast one. So I had... I, okay. It's funny that... Uh, so I have an English degree, right? But when I was a kid, I had a really hard time reading. So uh, I guess me getting an English degree was me compensating for that. But when I was a kid, my parents had to send me to some kind of special school to read, all right? So they, I wasn't motivated to do much at this school because, let's be honest, their prizes kind of stunk. And the teacher said, Scotty, Here's what? an eraser. <laughs> yeah, it was like, you know. For your mistakes. Like, here's a blow pop. Read like, you know, five, 50 books and here's a piece of candy. No, man, I wanted the Joe stuff. So the teacher said, uh, what is it that we can do, Scott, to motivate you? And I was like, well, I want the G.I. Joe uh, Sky Patrol Night Raven. And the teacher's like writing this down, you know. My parents are paying an absurd amount of money for me to go to the school, right? Learn how to read. But I guess it worked, right? So anyways... We she hope so. <laughs> she goes to Toys R Us that night. She buys it, comes it, comes back to school, and calls my mom and said, Mrs. Tucker, um, this toy, Scott's going to have to read. It was like 238 books to acquire enough points for this toy to actually work. Scott's going to be in this school until he's 18 years old kind of situation. And so, uh, yeah, they took the Sky Raven back, and my parents said they would get it. And then years later, when I was in my 20s, my dad surprised me with it for my birthday, so I did finally get it. Still have it to this day. So the Night Raven and the Sky Raven are near and dear to my heart. So I hope you uh, 
you guys feel free to share and make your comments about your uh, childhood favorite toys. But today, this one is mine. And if you have a toy line that you would like us to talk about next episode, comment below. This is currently on sale on the website, or for sale on the website, but I don't know. Since this one's black and it matches all my black stuff, maybe it's going to come home with me. I might have two. Who knows? You'll have to look on the website tomorrow and see. Anyways, we're going to sign off, guys. That's I'm going to have to get my mask back on and get back on the floor. But Thanks for watching, everyone.